21 under Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. 22 The children of Shem, Elam, and Ur, and Arphaxat, and Lud, and Aram. 23 And the children of Aram, Us, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash. 24 And Arphaxat begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. 25 And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Beleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. 26 And Joktan begat Armadad, and Shelef, and Hizamavath, and Jera. 27 And Hadoram, and Juzel, and Dikla. 28 And Obal, and Abimel, and Sheba. 29 And Arpha, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. 30 And their dwelling was from Meshur, as thou goest unto Sephra Mount of the East. 31 These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. 32 These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Two things especially are observable in this account of the posterity of Shem. One. The description of Shem, verse 21. We have not only his name, Shem, which signifies a name, but two titles to distinguish him by. 1. He was the father of all the children of Eber. Eber was his great grandson, but why should he be called the father of all his children, rather than of all our Faxats, or Salas, etc.? Probably because Abraham and his seed, God's covenant, people, not only descended from Heber, but from him were called Hebrews, chapter 14. 13. Abram the Hebrew. Paul looked upon it as his privilege that he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews, Phil. 3. 5. Eber himself, we may suppose, was a man eminent for religion in a time of general apostasy, and a great example of piety to his family, and, the holy tongue being commonly called from him a Hebrew, it is probable that he retained it in his family in the confusion of Babel, as a special token of God's favor to him, and from him the professors of religion were called the children of Eber. Now, when an inspired penman would give Shem an honorable title, he calls him the father of the Hebrews. Though when Moses wrote this, they were a poor despised people, bond, slaves in Egypt, yet, being God's people, it was an honor to a man to be akin to them. As Ham, though he had many sons, is disowned by being called the father of Canaan, on whose seed the curse was entailed, chapter 9. 22, So Shem, though he had many sons, is dignified with the title of the father of Eber, on whose seed the blessing was entailed. Note, a family of saints is more truly honorable than a family of nobles, Shem's holy seed than Ham's royal seed, Jacob's twelve patriarchs than Ishmael's twelve princes, chapter 17. 20. Goodness is true greatness. 2. He was the brother of Japheth the elder, by which it appears that, though Shem is commonly put first, he was not Noah's first, born, but Japheth was older. But why should this also be put as part of Shem's title and description, that he was the brother of Japheth, since it had been, in effect, said often before. And was he not as much brother to Ham? Probably this was intended to signify the union of the Gentiles with the Jews in the church. The sacred historian had mentioned it as Shem's honor that he was the father of the Hebrews, but, lest Japheth's seed should therefore be looked upon as forever shut out from the church, he here reminds us that he was the brother of Japheth, not in birth only, but in blessing, for Japheth was to dwell in the tents of Shem. Note, 1 those are brethren in the best manner that are so by grace, and that meet in the covenant of God and in the communion of saints. 2. God, in dispensing his grace, does not go by seniority, but the younger sometimes gets the start of the elder in coming into the church, so the last shall be first and the first last. 2. The reason of the name of Beleg, verse 25, because in his days, that is, about the time of his birth, when his name was given him, was the earth divided among the children of men that were to inhabit it, either when Noah divided it by an orderly distribution of it, as Joshua divided the land of Canaan by Lot, or when, upon their refusal to comply with that division, God, 
injustice, divided them by the confusion of tongues, whichsoever of these was the occasion, Bias Heber saw cause to perpetuate the remembrance of it in the name of his son, and justly may our sons be called by the same name, for in our days, in another sense, is the earth, the church, most wretchedly divided.